Hello, 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 hello. Is this how this YouTube thing is done? Because <clears throat> I forgot it how to do YouTube. Um, so apologies if um if I try to take my off my specs specs like this. You see my face more clearly. However, I have to be squinting because number one, I can't see, and number two, there's just so much light from the ring light. But if I put on my spec, you will see my ring light. So, for the duration of this video, you will see my ring light. Anyway, let's get back to business. Hello and hello, hello. Welcome to 2022. Welcome back to the channel. I think I should. I have a drink here, yeah? celebrating the good sis coming back to YouTube. I last posted last year in July, um, and there was just so much that was happening between July and December, which means I have a lot of content. However, there was also a lot happening mentally, and I wasn't in a content publication sort of mood. But I'm back, baby. So disclaimer: I will not do the whole. Um, I'm gonna be posting videos every week, every two weeks. No, but when the content comes to me, I'm going to do videos and I am going to post them. I have some videos that I did that are actually just private on my channel because some of the things that I was saying were controversial, and <laughs> it was just so much. But well, we want to thank God for coming back and giving us life, sustaining us up to 2022, up to 2023 and that we're here and I am promising you that I'm back on my channel. Let's grow together. Let's become. So I thought of changing my channel name, but we still make it as well. It's just a lot of things happening. Anyway, this is, um, I'm back video and a review of 2022 how was your 2022 because i do um set goals every year how did you do if you had 2022 goals how did you do within those goals so for me um in terms of my career there was no growth really i stay stay at the same, same level at my company the company that i was working at but i think in march March 2022, I got a permanent contract. Well, that's all bubble best in December because I then did a voluntary, um, what do you call it? Voluntary termination. Voluntary. <laughs> I would have to do a video of, of that experience, and trust me, it's coming. So I ended 2022 without a job. I was jobless, I was home, I was depressed. And I was questioning if I made the right decisions, um, if I was just being too playful. But remember that at the beginning of 2022, one of my goals was to just be a 22. Yo, I still think I'm that young. My goal for 2022 was just to be a 24 year old. So at the end of 2022, when I was sitting over there jobless in my house, and you know, you start feeling you have no direction, you have no purpose. Being unemployed is hard. Mm. Uh, I was starting to question the whole wisdom behind me saying I don't care about my career I just want to be 24 right now and just live my best life but well we thank God that I got the permanent contract because it allowed me to do things that I wouldn't be able to have, wouldn't be able to do if I didn't have the permanent contract I got appointed to one more board um, yeah, one more person of board I got to chair another this was before even my 25th birthday so I ran to thank God for the opportunities that come through um, the other thing is I got a very big win so I lost my job like on the 14th I think and then on the 15th I got the biggest use of my career well it's not a job but I will share as time goes but that win was just like oh just made things a little bit more bearable but still didn't take away the lack of purpose that I was feeling when I was unemployed now I'm employed guys so please don't worry about it but I'll do a video about unemployment I'll be later um 
uh and then socially we got engaged who knew who thought i really never thought of that life for me really guys i really <laughs> you do your own life and you don't follow people's advices on social media you see <laughs> because i never thought of this happening to me it wasn't my plan it wasn't something i was looking forward to but it happened i got engaged um ah also my brother and my best friend moved into the same building that i stay so i've been having tons of fun hanging out with them remember the goal was to be 24 um i've been having tons of fun with them everyone is just here like my bubble three but however that also led me to not hang out with anyone and like sort of lost contact with i think everyone uh and i did travel zimbabwe i think i was in Kariba twice, Dawaio twice, thrice. <laughs> I don't know, but we, oh, we played as well. We're rich in 2022. It was fun. Uh, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be able to do it. Um, oh, I also finished the house. That was on financial. I finished the house. Um, I invested in an asset, which I'm thinking of selling, but in 2022, I invested in an asset. Uh, I saved something. I had some savings. And well, the biggest part that I'm grateful for is I had enough money to take care of my needs and my wants. I wouldn't say I wanted for anything in 2022 until I lost the job, of course. But I had fun. Um, I failed. We're going on spiritual now. I started being my own independent person. I had a lot of questions about God, religion. I reached out to a pastor. We had one session. And I was supposed to have more and then things started happening. I think that's the devil. Uh that was doing that um thing. So I didn't go to church as much as I have I think previously done in my idol life. I didn't manage to be able to go to church to do anything spiritually mm, to pray I know I even need to ask I was asking my friends like can you please pray for me for this for this for this for this I wasn't able to do the prayers myself I was just not in that <sighs> frame to be able to actually sit down and have a conversation with God it's one of my failures in 2022 and what else what else went bad in 2022 not much went bad really i traveled i went to like five countries um yeah so i did cover the career the social the financial spiritual yes now looking into 2023 the good thing is i'm back on youtube we're back here and one of the things that's going to happen this year is it's going to be my second year um post qualification so i'm no longer i don't think i'm still qualified to call myself a recently qualified chartered accountant if you know what i mean i am now just a chartered accountant did i grow though in the past two years or huh that's a story for another day that's going to be a career video um but there's something that i read um in a book called the 12th the 12th week year so now we're looking into goals we're looking into 2023 what are my plans going into 2023 i read a book called the 12th week year the 12th week year is a system that says we're not it's not really effective to set yearly goals like annual 365 days goals but it's more effective to break the year into four years so is it yeah to break the one year into four years or into periods of 12 weeks so if you do on a roughly 12 weeks is uh three months so you break the year into quarters into four four years and then you have goals for every quarter and 
one of the things that the 12 12 week year requires is also that you don't set your goals in terms of outputs you set your goals in terms of inputs small little things that you can do every day every week every two days every three days every fortnight every month that will lead into the outputs that you want and the main reason for this is so that you're not demotivated when you don't get the outputs that you want um in the first 12 weeks and then you just right off the rest of the year so i i experienced this like with losing weight i gained i picked up a lot of weight because of working from home that's going to be another video working from home and unhealthy social habits um so when i try to lose weight and i do something like for example for a week or two weeks and i don't see immediate results i quickly am demotivated i go for my bread my rices my whatever i start eating again in a healthy way because i'm demotivated by like i'm such a results oriented person so if i don't see the results i'm easily demotivated so the 12 week year your result is your input so you set your goal to for example uh you want to grow spiritually so your goal is i have to at least attend church every saturday you want to lose weight so your goal is I want to exercise five days a week. I want to eat clean on five days a week for five days in a week so that it, the end result then becomes the losing weight. The end result then becomes the spiritual rejuvenation that then happens. But what you are focused, what it does is it changes your focus from you focusing on, I want to get there in three months whatever into what can i do today so i have i have set my goals in that way starting from this year and keep me accountable but one of these goals um i want to post on youtube on facebook instagram in linkedin at least once every two weeks um so a post on any of those platforms once every two weeks i want to reduce my cost of living because and healthy financial habits i need to reduce my cost of living per month i also want to do my best every day at work and bring my best self for eight hours so i do work eight hours if it's not business season if it's business season then i can do over time but you know like sometimes there are situations where you are at work for eight hours but you're not really working eight hours you're working six five four three two not saying i did that i worked two hours but i'm just saying i want to bring my best self not to you tick things like oh i'm supposed to do this tick done tick done but to actually work and bring my best self to work i want to go to church every week so far i've been successful in this this is the first second week of february that i'm shooting this video and i've been going to church every saturday how about that <laughs> but i still have questions still have things so i'm setting up a study bible study group or whatever it is to study the bible with friends yeah yes so i'm going to be going to church every saturday and then i'm going to eat clean try to eat clean for five days in a week i want to go on a trip every month i know i said i'm not just in my cost of living but well i'm going to <laughs> i even wrote so I, it's like um i have like a diary <laughs> it's written here i even said i want to drink less cranberry <laughs> okay this is not a smart goal because it doesn't say it's not specific how much less um it's not time where it says it's not real maybe it is realistic it is attainable but it's not a struggle. This one's not measurable. So how do you measure? And then, then, then I will have to reduce that one. Uh, I want to enjoy actually the next four months. I said next six, next six months because I did this. No, next five months. Next five months because I did this end of January. So I want to enjoy the next four months. Like it's a little to continue, baby. Um, on this, and then I want to exercise every day. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. No. Exercise five days of work. Um, I want to drink two liters of water. Two liters of water. Two liters of water per day. I want to do
do coffee chats or call once a week to reconnect with my friends so these are some of the um, goals as you can see sort of covers is sort of all over but it covers the basics of what i have to do like every day so those are my 2023 goals so you're gonna have to keep me keep me accountable if you don't see a post every two weeks say how far but those are the goals that i've set for me so in this actually in line with this as soon as i cut this video i'm going to actually start a video on the next video i'm going to record it now so that i have at least two weeks to figure out my life because it's not like i don't have time to record it's just sometimes i just don't have the energy to do it it's not even about the time it's about the energy so since i have the energy today i can record another video which one is it because i have i have i have um i have video announcement video video ideas but i don't know which one i'm not supposed to do hmm anyway bye thank you for stopping by thank you for staying and for waiting for me i'll see you in the next video